snorkel is ready. Five thirty in the morning. About to get a taxi to go do dolphin watching over by the port. Morning, morning. Got everything. We made it to our meeting spot, but we are not the only ones here. <laughs> a big coach of people. Gonna be busy at the dolphins. We're gonna see the sunrise on the boat, so that should be pretty cool too. We just met with our driver. Excited. Ready. Dolphins. Ready. Wait to see dolphins. And maybe swim. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on the jellyfish <laughs> situation. Yeah. So we've been waiting about 20 minutes, but finally our guys come back with the boat, so time to get on. <laughs> Dolphin gang. Bye bye. Bye, Mane. Wow! Look right in front of the boat. Wow! Woo! Oh! Amazing! So now it's about 6:30 in the morning. We've been on the boat about 20 minutes, but we had our first dive. Uh, oh, oh, we had our first dolphin sightings. It is really incredible to see it for the first time. We've got a beautiful sunset. Everyone on the boat. Sunset. We've got this beautiful sunrise and having this nice boat trip. There are a lot of boats out here and it is a bit of a shame as soon as there's dolphins, everyone's speeding towards it and it doesn't last for that long. Uh, should we keep it up Get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> the survival of the fittest, let's go. But it is really beautiful. I'll show you some more photos and videos when we see some more. First dolphin sighting. It's so beautiful. Really cool. I saw good food for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Bottlenose instead of pink dolphins at a different spot now. pink dolphins and now we're around the bottlenose dolphins they're going a lot slower and in bigger pods so we're gonna jump into the water and hope to get some better view of them so let's go we hang off the side of the boat on these little holder things here off the side and hopefully it'll be good got our snorkels ready to do it <laughs> let's go oh yeah, oh, yeah. gonna flop in Why are you paying me? Why are you paying me? You're kicking. Woo! Woo! You're good. What's on, Jeff? 
Thank you very much, very good. Um, Perfect. Yeah. Oh. Whew, so we're back on dry land. That really was an incredible and magical experience. Uh, it was really cool to take pictures from the boat, but getting down in the water with the snorkel, some amazing footage there, it was unbelievable. The total for our boat was 570K. So it was around 250 for the boat and then 80K each for the snorkel, so 570. And we paid 600 to give the guy a little tip, so really worth it for that one. And I'll leave the contact details for our guy, our company in the description if you wanna check it out. We're knackered, time to change and head back to our villa, probably take a rest. So one thing I did want to jump in to talk about in this video is about animal tourism. So in general, I'm against the animal tourism, you know, unless it's done in sanctuaries or, you know, sustainable eco-tourism. So you won't see any videos of us with drug tigers or riding elephants on this channel, but it did seem like an unmissable opportunity to swim with the dolphins and we wouldn't know the conditions until we really got in there and, you know, tried it. So as we even commented in the video, it did seem like the boats were getting really close to the dolphins, but then when we went under the water, you could see that the whole ocean was their playground and really we didn't disturb them that much but obviously that's a consideration but there were at least two things that we could think of that would make the experience of the tourism better one would be a limit on the number of boats it was quite crowded and that's not good for the dolphins or for the tourists so maybe a limit would be a good thing and number two maybe to switch the boat engines to something like electric to reduce you know the water pollution and do a bit less environmental damage now the flip side of all of that is it would make it more expensive for everybody and a lot of the locals and local communities would rely on this kind of animal tourism maybe it's their livelihoods to support their families so it's a bit difficult to say that it shouldn't be done but there definitely should be a discussion and the more sustainable and ecotourism it can be i think that's a good thing so what do you think was it exploiting the animals would you like to try swimming with the dolphins let me know down in the comments below and let's start a discussion now back to the video so all right guys that was the end of our trip in Lavinna. two days here doing cliff jumping and going to see the dolphins i think uh, was a really amazing experience so emma what was your favorite part 100 percent seeing the dolphins and in particular swimming with them amazing nice taylor what's your favorite swimming with the dolphins 100 <laughs> percent david what's your favorite uh, definitely the Iraq. No, I'm just kidding. The dolphins as well. You guys have to come and see it. Definitely a must. So I think the dolphins were quite popular. Everyone loved that. So thank you guys for watching. And don't forget, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more Bali content. So thanks, guys. And see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.